<clears throat> hey. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here. I'm from uh, Digital Turbine. Uh, let's start. Uh, my name is Eden. I'm 26 years old. Uh, I'm living in Petah Tikva uh, with my husband, Guy, and we have a little dog. Her name is Candy, and she really likes to come with me to the office. I'm a big data developer at uh, Digital Turbine. Uh, it was fiber. I'm using Airflow since 2019. Uh, actually, I, when I, I came to Fiber, I was a student that uh, really don't know anything. Uh, and my first mission that I got from my boss was to migrate Airflow over a Kubernetes cluster with the Kubernetes execution. In that part of, of time, Airflow, uh, uh, there was no official helm chart for Airflow and not even an official image. So it was a really hard uh, work for a student that... Uh, really don't know what is Kubernetes and Airflow and anything. Uh, but after I success it, it was uh, really landful. And now I really like Airflow. <laughs> A little bit about Fiber and Digital Turbine. So Fiber is an uh, edtech uh, company that doing app monetization. Fiber uh, in the last years was acquired by Digital Turbine along with Appreciate and Not Colony. The combination of the company offer an independent profile mobile platform for an app developer. This is all powered by digital turbine technology that installed directly on a mobile device. Um, combining our company, strength will help our client to uh, type into a great values opportunities for their uh, advertising business. This is a uh, all means that we have a lot of big data. And by mean a lot, I mean uh, trillions of bid requests per month, billions, on, billions and billions impressions and auctions per month, half a billion unique user per month, uh, a lot of terabytes. Uh, we save our data with uh, almost 100 uh, dimensions and metric, really big data. Um, so today I'm going to talk about our data pipeline goals, uh, Airflow SLA monitoring, what is the Slayer, and how we implement our Slayer. Uh, in our company, Airflow managed for us the data pipelines. Um, because our data pipeline's output is the data that our clients consume, we want to pay special attention for the data completeness, correctness, and latency. Airflow helps us with the data completeness. We can see in the UI in each task if it's success or fail and everything, so it's good. For the data to correctness, uh, we add in the end of the pipeline a little task that check if the input is the same as the output for some metrics. And then we can see if the data correct. And for the data latency, what we're going to talk today, we need to define for our client the SLA. SLA is server level agreement. It means that uh, if uh, we have a pipeline that need to end after two hours, so two hours is the SLA, going to be the SLA. In Airflow, you can define for each task or DAG the SLA by just uh, in the default ARG, really quickly, delta, uh, time delta, two hours, this for example. And Airflow even help you to send an alert by mail about the uh, tasks that don't achieve the SLA. So, it's really easy to implement, but after I implement that, my mail in the morning looks like this. A lot of tasks with execution days that, that got an SLA, and I really don't know what the status in my system right now. I'm, I'm trying to uh, scroll down and understand what the status, but you, you don't get a, a uh, another mail that everything is now okay, so I don't know what the status on each task. So I need to, to check manually on each task, and you just got lost. <laughs> so 
uh, we want to define some monitoring goals for us, what we want to know. We want to know what task you've had already been finished but haven't yet. First of all, what uh, the average of the delay, how much after the SLA it's still running, and uh, what's the frequency, and I want to take a little research about that, but not manually research. So I know I'm looking for something that more than just an alert by mail, more than just a mail. And I, so usually in our uh, company, we use uh, Prometheus and Grafana to create for us a metric and display it on Grafana. And then you can see by the timeline uh, what the status for our tasks. In simple terms, the Slayer is a Kubernetes app service application that run uh, over Kubernetes, of course. It's query Airflow database and send a SLA metric uh, with DAG ID, task ID, and execution date to Prometheus. After we have those metrics in Prometheus, you can see our nice dashboard. In this dashboard, you can see, for example, that now I don't have SLA on my system. You can see what the time uh, that I have SLA, for example, here in the green, I have SLA about some tasks. There I have SLA about some tasks, and I know what the duration for each task. And I can scroll back to the last week to, to see what I uh, got there. After I have this dashboard, I can connect Grafana to send me a nice mail when I have an alert and another mail that everything's good now. Grafana can connect to Ops Genie, for example, to send me an alert by a phone. So I can get a phone call at night to wake up that I have an urgent SLA. For us, it was a great success, this dashboard. So let's talk about implementation. Um, we need to create the met SLA miss metric with, with the database. Uh, we need to create the Prometheus customer exporter, dockerize the exporter, and deploy it on Kubernetes. So as we said, uh, Airflow already has some mechanism for SLA. When, uh, after define this SLA for each uh, task, the scheduler of Airflow, uh, when he recognizes that task don't achieve his SLA, he send a little, uh, he, say, he write on the table SLA miss, uh, this task uh, with this execution day and this is, and you know that if task is appear on this table, she don't uh, uh, reach his SLA. In the task instance, you have all the tasks, uh, with their uh, status and Doug run all the Doug with the status. So to understand what tasks should have already been finished but uh, still running or not still uh, haven't yet, we just need to look on all the tasks in SLA is table that the status is not valid and the uh, Doug is still running. After that, we can uh, start to create our Prometheus customer exporter. We use a, a Prometheus client API in a Python. <coughs> we create a Python project, and we need to implement for the Prometheus uh, client two main functions, the collect function and the define metric family. Collect function is just the um, query from the last step. And the defined metric family is just the label, task ID, DAG ID, and execution date. With Prometheus client, you can uh, create a Prometheus server really, really easy. So it was good for us. And then the metric pushed to Prometheus. Now we can dockerize our exporter. We create a Docker file, copy our uh, project, our Slayer project install the requirements, and just uh, start our Python project. To deploy it on Kubernetes, we need to create two main files, the two YAML files, deployment and service. In the deployment, we need to specify the image from the last step. We need to specify the container port for, 
support for the uh, Prometheus server, uh, and the database connection for Airflow. And the service going to serve our network. But we don't finish yet. Um, we don't finish yet with those two YAML. We have now our, our, uh, our uh, Kubernetes layer application running on uh, Kubernetes. But it's still we can see the metric in uh, Grafana. For that, at Fiber, we use Prometheus Operator. To Prometheus Operator help us to create a data source for Grafana. Prometheus Operator implements Kubernetes Operator patterns uh, for managing uh, Prometheus-based Kubernetes monitoring stack. It can automatically generate uh, monitoring target settings based on, on a Kubernetes label uh, query. We create this out by using a service monitoring, which, um, which uh, um, specify uh, how, uh, groups of uh, service, uh, how they should be monitored. The operator automatically generate from this Prometheus configuration uh, based on this definition. It means that if we have a new, a new metric uh, that, uh, uh, that the service monitoring create, it, it's, uh, the, it, it, uh, this target is automatically uh, added to all the Prometheus service uh, selecting the service monitoring. So overall about my uh, little uh, service, we have our Slayer pod uh, that uh, the deployment file responsible of that. Our pod is uh, actually a Python project that query Airflow database. We have the service that serves the network, the service monitoring that uh, collect our metric, Prometheus operator that creates for us a data source for uh, Grafana, and our nice dashboard on Grafana. Question? <laughs>